Now I'm making a two-part video series on segmenting a sphere. Part one will be gluing up this particular blank right here that uh, I got. And part two will be turning the sphere to completion. So stay tuned and we'll uh, show you how I glued this up. Welcome again once more to my shop. Today's project, I'm going to make a segmented sphere. It'll probably take a couple days by the time I mill all the wood and glue it up. But this sphere is going to be a prototype for something I'm going to do at a local event called a quick draw at our local museum. And what that means is 25 of our local artists in this area get together and they make something in one hour. It's crazy, but it's a lot of fun. If you're in the Moreland area, you got to you got to go over and uh, watch us because it's really fun and it's very hectic. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a prototype of a segmented sphere that I'll do at the quick draw. So let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm standing in back of my 25 inch wood tech drum sander. It's a dual drum sander. It's an awesome machine. So I'll be using that to prepare my wood and behind me is my 15 inch planer. Let me do just a little bit of that uh, milling up the wood and then we'll glue it up. Well, I'm running some very noisy machines, so I've got uh, a couple different bits of protection there for my hearing and my lungs. I love this dual drum sander. It is an awesome machine. There's a little piece of walnut I'm going to run through there. And I probably do this for a couple hours, and I'm not going to show you all that, because once you've seen that board go through there, it's all pretty much the same. There's a piece of cherry, and I'm trying to get these boards smooth as well as very level and this does a great job and I just keep running it through till it's uh, to the point where I want it now I have a stack of wood here about 30 inches long it's going to give me four spears that are roughly seven inches in diameter so what I have here on the end is one of my poster board circles when I'm cutting bowl blanks. I've got a bunch of these different uh, diameters. So this is 8 inches. I'm not going to get an 8 inch sphere out of this. So I'm ready to glue this up. So the question is, do I glue this all up in one session? Am I crazy? Well, just watch and see. i got a plan. Well, the answer is yes, I am going to glue this all up in one go. Here's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use a roller to spread my glue. Tight bond two. I've got a little container of warm water to clean up the mess. I've got plenty of rags to help with that. And I'm going to use my brad nailer to help secure my boards and line them up so they don't slide all over the place. Now one aspect of gluing is once I get the glue in here, and I've got the other board on there, it's not going to dry out quite so quickly. So let's go ahead and I'm going to get all ready. I got a pile of clamps out of the uh, view of the camera. Let's go ahead. Now it probably took 10 or 15 minutes to glue this pile of wood together. I've got this speeded up so you and I won't get too bored. The roller is a great idea, and what I do later on is I just clean that off with some water and reuse it. I like to glue each surface. Back in the day when I refinished lots of furniture, I glued up uh, table leaves and that sort of thing, and I did a lot of gluing. And I learned a lot just by trial and error, but I think if you uh, glue each section, together on both sides, you get a better bond. This allows the glue to soak in to the wood. I think this is an important part. If you just uh, not go quite so fast, I'm not saying go too slow, but be deliberate and put glue on there, put it back on, and I'm going to take my brad nailer, as you see here, pardon the shoulder, and I'm just going to put a brad in each end and that prevents the clamps from making the board slip around. And I'll just cut that end off with the brads 
later on. More glue, more roller, and I'm going pretty fast here. And the brad nailer works really well. So finally we're going to get to some clamps. This particular clamp is awesome. I got that from Woodworker Supply years ago, and I've got four of those, and they're really, really hefty clamps. So I'm going to add a few more clamps, and we'll get back to you. Well, there it is, about a quart of wood glue and a lot of clamps. I gotta wait about 24 hours at least before I do anything with this. So I think it turned out okay. I think I did all right. Um, I did a lot of work off camera, but you get the idea. So we'll just uh, wait and we'll turn this into something round. It's the next day after the glue up, and I'm ready to take my clamps off. A job I'm not really looking forward to, but let's speed this up and get her done. Well, you can't have too many clamps, and I'm not sure what to compare clamping to. It's really boring and tedious, but it's a necessary evil when you're doing something like this. So I appreciate you uh, hanging in there with me, and I just about got all those clamps off anyway, so... Well, that wasn't too bad. I'm going to take my big block of wood here on the bandsaw and start milling this down so I can put it on the lathe. Now, I've trimmed up the ends of this log. And what I actually did was I just took my electric chainsaw and took that down. I had brad nails in the very ends of these pieces of wood to line everything up and that prevented them from slipping around when I glued up the, the big blank. So what I've got, I've got this marked out for three spheres. And originally I thought maybe I would just put this whole thing on my lathe and turn the whole thing around, but I think I'm going to uh, do it individually. I've got the fence on my bandsaw in the right position to make three equal pieces for this uh, sphere project. So I'm going to cut those out right now. Now I'm cutting this really large stack of wood into three sphere blanks and it's a good decision. Ultimately it's going to really be a benefit doing it this way. I've got a fairly good bandsaw blade in my bandsaw and I'm cutting cross grain so it's not very difficult even though this is a good eight and a half inches thick. So I'll cut my three spheres and We'll proceed to the next step. You'll see that I've got my dust mask on. I've got hearing protection. The bandsaw really kicks back a lot of dust. And after I cut these, if I inspect the ends, I see that the glue joints are really good. They're very tight and I think it'll make a nice sphere. When I started gluing up this project and selecting the boards, that would go into my sphere project. I discovered I didn't have a lot of one inch thick seasoned lumber. I've got a lot of logs and turning blanks and exotic wood, but I didn't have a lot of wood to uh, choose from in terms of making a pattern. So I will admit my pattern is a little bit haphazard. This is what I intend to do at this point, and it's always okay to change your mind. I'm gonna split this down the center and put a board, in this case it would be vertical in this view, and then glue it all back together. I've got three blanks here, so I can do three different uh, patterns on these spheres. Now, in addition, I'm going to end this video right here. So there'll be part one, gluing up the sphere. Part two, we'll be uh, doing a little bit of design work and turning one to completion. So stay tuned for that. Thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you next time.